And what is it about the way this building operates that makes it so special? Well, this building was designed to meet the living building challenges, which is probably the strictest or highest level of green building that you can design a building to these days. You know, LEED Platinum is currently considered the highest level of uh, green building that you can build right now, and this building goes way beyond that. In addition to all the things you'd expect to see in a LEED Platinum building, this building is also zero net energy and zero net water, which means we have to make all our own energy on site. Uh, we have to treat and capture and treat all our own water on site. How do you make that happen? Tell me about some of the things we can see right here that illustrate how a building like this works. Well, one of the most important things you have to do if you're going to try and build a building at zero net energy, actually the smartest thing to do, is to build a building that needs to use as little energy as possible. So a lot of work went in from the design team in making sure that this building uh, uses as little energy as possible. Super insulated roofs, super insulated walls, triple pane glass windows. Uh, takes advantage of natural daylighting so we don't have to have lights on during the day. Takes advantage of natural ventilation so we don't have to run air conditioners all the time in the summertime. So a lot of effort goes into making the passive strategies as efficient as it possibly can. Once you do that, then you could start thinking about, okay, how, do we, how are we going to make the energy we need to run the building? Well, in our case, we're, right, we're, we're focusing mostly on photovoltaics. We have uh, uh, ground-mounted photovoltaic cells and we also have uh, photovoltaic cells on the adjacent uh, building and grounds building, which will turn the sun's energy into electricity. We also have 14 geothermal wells that are using the energy in the earth to help heat and cool the building. And then we also have a uh, vertical axis wind turbine will also provide some energy for us. We also are using a, a Burner International HVAC system, which is a state-of-the-art HVAC system. Really, it's a, it's a really magnificent piece of equipment that's going to run all the uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning in the building at a very efficient level. It's made here in western Pennsylvania, which we're really excited about, too. really speaks to the Pittsburgh fingerprints that are all over this building. Absolutely. We decided from day one that we really wanted this to be a building that really spoke about the great talent we have in this region. You know, when we first heard about this challenge, we were all charged up. We had just finished building the, most, the first LEED certified visitor center in a public garden in 2005. In 2006, we opened the most energy efficient conservatory in the world. And it was at that time, in November of 2006, we heard about the Living Building Challenge to go way beyond LEED Platinum. And we said, we can do that. And so in January of 2007, our board accepted the Living Building Challenge to build this building. And we immediately thought, you know, if we could build the greenest building in the world, wouldn't it be great if it could, it shouldn't just be about FIPS, it really should speak about all the great talent we have in this region. So we immediately went and talked to people at the Center for Building Performance and Diagnostics at Carnegie Mellon University. We went and talked to the people at the Mascara Sustainability Initiative at the University of Pittsburgh, the Green Building Alliance here in Pittsburgh. And we asked them if they could help us with this building, and they all were enthusiastic, and they all said yes. And they were great partners. We couldn't have built this building without their help. We hired the Design Alliance from here in Pittsburgh as our lead architects. They put together a fabulous team of both local and uh, regional people from around the state, and they did a fabulous job. This is a fabulous building. It's really going to set a new standard for the world. Beautiful building, and I would think the operating costs are going to be really, really low. Well, that's one of the, the good paybacks on this building. We're going to have a building that has no electric bill, no heating bill, no cooling bill, no water bill, no sewer bill.